previously. Love hurt. He keeps looking at me like he's in love with me. I mean, you're cuddling every ten minutes. Uh, trying to make out like I've been doing something wrong and I'm not. I could certainly tell you he's coming out to their boyfriend though, and it's early on. You shouldn't have said that. I can't even do this, I want to leave now. Don't look like I'm sick. Don't make me look like an idiot. I love you to it. Her boyfriend ain't gonna be there, she's dreaming, mate. And killer nominations rocked the house. Christina. Johnny. Daniele. I'm sorry, Tiff. Tiff, I'm so sorry. He's made an enemy. You seem like the biggest game player. Apparently, I'm the baddest bitch in the house. <laughs> Tonight, the tension is mounting. That's Ginger Hill. Gemma said to me, just two different people. You're not Beyonce. You ain't no Sasha Fierce, girl. He kicks on my tits, that geezer. And it all kicks off. Oh, no. Seth, I can't deal with it. Like, it's too much. What are you dealing with to me, friend? Are you letting off? It is so wrong what you're doing. You've got a boyfriend. I can't wait for you to see, like, what a horrible monster you are. No one's ever liked you because you're a diva. Oh, Do you burn me once? Seth, stop it. If you let me back in that house, I'm going to end up doing something I regret, punching Gemma Collins in the face, which he deserves. Dear 12, 9.36am. It's the morning after Nancy left the Big Brother house. And in a surprise nominations twist, Daniela, Tiffany, Christina and John were all put up for eviction. And leaving the house is firmly on Angie's mind. You sleep well, Dan. Huh? You sleep well, okay. No. I was coughing all night. Are you okay, where are you I'm leaving. What are you saying? What? No, Auntie Ange, why are you saying that? Yeah. Why? Why? Auntie Ange, talk to me first. Come on. Auntie Ange, come here, give me one. I'm done with it. It's over. No amount of money would allow me to stay a minute longer. Come on. Boom. No, 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 no. I don't have to do jack shit. That's what's so fabulous. No, I need some clothes. I mean, some shoes. I'd love a cup of tea. I'd love some food. But I can't be bothered with either of them, so thank you, my sweet. Oh, so delicious. What? Stay. No. <laughs> Under no circumstances. I wish you'd stay here. <coughs> Sorry. Not yeah. possible. Christopher and Stephanie are talking about her nomination of Daniela last night. Mate, I need to tell you this right, but Daniela's not saying anything to me. But I feel like I'm in between. Yeah. I've got no well feelings, like, so that's why I'm surprised she's got the hope, because it should be the other way around. So, really. so you need to find out why? I had to pick someone and she has been saying, don't, I'm no hard feelings, if you vote for me, you vote for me, so I thought she'll be stronger to take it then. And I spoke to her, I was like, I'm nervous, I'm not, so I left her okay with her. I, I don't know why she jumped and said that, yeah. that before, she just obviously abused me. But go for her for telling it to me face before I watched it on TV, at least they weren't two-faced, you know what I mean, but... She's, she, she knows she's in the wrong. I think that's why it's winding her up more. Because she knows she shouldn't have said that. She's probably thinking that's one of the reasons why I did it. And I did because friends don't, to me, friends don't do that. Anyway, at least we've got another day of fun together in the house and buzzing. And buzzing, yeah. I'm just still here. I'd have hated not waking up and being here. Ten fifty-four am David is not well, so is spending the day resting in Big Brother's spare bedroom. <laughs> Stephanie is speaking to Daniela about her killer nomination. But yesterday I can't describe the position I was in. Like, I can't literally just like put my eyes I know, but I just want to make sure you're okay and that I'm fine, but just forget I'm about fine. it. I'm fine. I was the last I'm one fine. to get to go, like. I'm fine, don't worry about it. And when they're like, come on, you need to give a quick answer, and I was like, I, 
And then afterwards I was thinking, I'm fine, I just got up, I'm just knackered. I was oh, oh, shit today. I know, and she's not well, is she? She's leaving. Last night, Jeremy nominated Tiffany. My boy, my boy wanna get rid of me. Nah, no, it's not like that. Just really not? Really, really not. It's so horrible being in that position. Trust me, Tiff, I really didn't know what to do. Like, it's impossible. It literally has to be the most minister. So it's just because we haven't talked a lot it's and whatnot. It's not, it's literally, I only went on when you, the isolation thing the, the, the last few days. Like, it's just that, and that's the game, isn't it? Yeah. It looks two-faced to fuck, but... What do you do? It wouldn't look like that. It doesn't even look too faced. It's like it's good. You know, I'm a very honest person, but I've never, I'm not like a people pleaser. Right? It's just the way it happened. It's just, it's shit circumstances. Angie is coming to speak to Big Brother. See ya. Yes. I want my passport and I want my phone. I want a car to get back to town. Thank you. That's what I need. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. How are you, big brother? I want my passport and my phone. I want a car to get back to town. That's all I need. And I need this door left open because I'm getting claustrophobic. Thank you. Right. How long is it going to take to get my passport and phone? Angie, big brother just wants to talk to you first. I don't want to talk to you. How about that? I want my passport and my phone and a car to get back to London. Big Brother is listening. Big Brother has heard all that. Good. Big Brother just wants to know why you don't want to talk to Big Brother. I have no interest in talking to you at all. <clears throat> and why is that? Passport, phone, car. Coming up, the housemates get down and dirty. <laughs> And does Angie fly the nest for good? That's it. It's time to find a way out. One thirty-seven p.m. Angie is taking time to cool off in the diary room. Megan is telling a story about an ex-boyfriend. Do you know what? You have. I haven't cheated on a boy. But you've done something. But I've done something to get him back. What is it? That's it. That's the worst. That I hate that. Me. Yeah. Do you know why I done that? I don't care why anyone does that. That's just known yourself to the level. Do you know why I done that? Because he cheated on me, and I found out, and he sent it to me in a text no, message. She showed his mate. Oh, I hear hearing things like that now. That annoys me about girls. Don't fuck with me then. And you I showed his mate though? When I did it, I was so fucking happy. No, no, it's still though. It's no. still because you lowered yourself no, to do you what he what? does though. I've you never ever. You declared no, yourself. No, I listen. Really Sam with his pal. It wasn't really his pal. Though. It was his pal. You don't need to say that. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't really his pal, it was his pal. actually. Just as Scott, like, you don't know my life. So you fancy his mate for a while and then eventually no, you gave it to Shaggy's mate. No, no, because I didn't even. You weren't. You weren't really a pal like that. Nah. I, hate I don't give a right shit. It, it I got me, mentally yeah. fucked up in my head from that boy, so, so I don't I, give a even, shit. Even if my ex bird right, shit me a thousand times, I would still never break up a friendship with her. Just because I don't want to lower myself at that level. Because that, that's the worst thing when people start going it's on It's hard though when your emotions yeah. are so messed Why is he getting aggy for like that? Bro? It's it. ridiculous. Because he likes it. And he thinks, like, if that's. Would you do that to him? Yes, if that, exactly. Do you know what I mean? He's just worried. No, it's been nice to know you. He don't understand what that boy's done to me. You are not going anywhere. I get it, man. Christina and John are discussing Angie. I went to bed and I started analysing everything and I thought... That's what I was doing and I couldn't It's about get four people I can't get because they say one thing, but then they, they, they act totally different. Like who? Angie. Am I stupid or I just don't read people anymore? She was sitting there saying she doesn't want to go home. Then half an hour later she had a fit around the house and she said she wants to go home. I don't think she'll go. I mean, she seems pretty adamant, but I, I honestly, genuinely don't think she'll go. Big Brother suggests that you go and get some rest, and Big Brother would love to talk to you a little bit more later on to see Absolutely, how I'll be happy to. I'm sorry I'm so cranky, but when I don't sleep, I just... That's it! It's time to find a way out. So, um, if I can sleep, 
hopefully we won't have a second round of this bollocks because I, I can't stand bothering people and bothering you guys at the weekend especially is just unbearable to me but I appreciate you doing something about it so and thank Dave, you very much Big Brother doesn't have a weekend <laughs> Are you happy to go return to the house now? Yeah, sure Thanks a lot Thank you so much Angie Okay, bye bye There she is Hello, morning All right, Angie you're right. Hi, everyone. Hi. Are you back? Yeah. Are you staying? I'm going to sleep now. Give us a cuddle. Are you staying? I have to. It just, I, I just, yeah, I guess so. Four or four p.m. For today's task, the house has been divided into two teams who must work together to balance a pair of scales with gunge. Housemates have been told that on each team there's a secret saboteur whose job it is to ensure the scales stay unbalanced. However, what they don't know is that secretly they've all been told to sabotage the task. <laughs> Is Big Brother. Housemates have not balanced the scales and the task has been sabotaged by two housemates. One saboteur is on the green side of the scales and one saboteur is on the pink side of the scales. The housemates must now decide who the saboteur was in each team. This is Big Brother. Stephanie must now reveal which housemate the green side believe is a saboteur and their reasons for this decision. Uh, we think it was Chris because he picked, he went straight for the clumps. And the clumps in the head one was the hardest thing, but Danielle yeah. was actually trying to put it in. And um, so I thought it was going to be Chris or Danielle, it was definitely Chris. Jonathan must now reveal which housemate the pink side believe is a saboteur and their reasons for this decision. We have decided that the saboteur on the pink team is Gemma. Earlier today, housemates were told they must transfer as much gunge as possible and balance the scales to win a party. Housemates were also told there were two housemates trying to sabotage the task. However, this was not the case. Big Brother can now reveal that all housemates were secretly saboteurs. Ah! As housemates successfully sabotage the task, they have won a party tonight. Yeah! As a punishment for being identified as saboteurs, Christopher and Gemma will not be allowed to attend the party and will be locked in jail. Coming up, Tiffany sets the record straight. I just want you to know that Big Brother didn't put you amongst no bullshit. Like, I'm pulling my way. And Jeremy spills the beans. Kiss her. Have you? I'll kiss on the lips. 
Summer could come early for you and a friend as celebrity Big Brother is giving you the chance to shake off those winter chills and soak up some sun with a trip to the beautiful Maldives. You'll stay in a deluxe bungalow for 10 nights. Full board, all inclusive, at the five star Corumba Maldives, where you can enjoy daily snorkeling sessions on the house reef, experience a sunset and dolphin discovery cruise, or simply relax on the beach. We'll also include £2,000 spending money. So, for your chance to win, take CBB to 65515. Or post your name and phone number to CBB, PO Box 7557, Derby, DE1, 0 MP. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com forward slash win. Good luck. Eight oh five p.m. As a reward for winning today's task, Big Brother has thrown the housemates a party. However, for failing their part in the task, Gemma and Christopher have been locked up. I'm never playing a game again. It winds me up in chow. Right, let's get comfy. Ready? Should I put some makeup on or something? I look like shit. <laughs> Babe, look, it's, it's not fun. Really it's funny. It's funny. Oh I've got no panties on to make sure I keep my legs together. Either. <laughs> I'll be like that. Well, I'll be flushing me gash. We all be yeah, like, yeah. Ah. hey, let's let it out. Big brother, we need some gash music. We need some music. I need some drinks. <laughs> oh, they make, they make, mix these drinks right. <laughs> Give me a pole dance. Go on, man. Did you want me to? Go on. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Just take it. Oh, let's paint the town. We'll shut it down. Let's go to the roof. Tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Okay, wait, wait. 9.29 p.m. Christopher and Gemma have been in jail for one hour and 24 minutes. This is Big Brother. Gemma and Christopher, you have successfully completed your sentence. I think we're free to join the party. Let's have some canapes. Right, Siggy. All right. Go on, you've got Big Brother have actually been... Guys, did all of you think I was not going to get in there and have a hissy fit? Thank you, Big... Oh! oh! Thank you, Big Brother. Megan has a question for Scotty T. What's going on with you anyway on the outside world, Scotty? Because <laughs> I'm completely so single and I'm not seeing anybody. So what's I'm going on with you? Are you not seeing anybody? No. You're completely single? No, I wasn't, I wasn't completely single. So what are you now? Completely single or what? Well, no. So. What? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, not. Huh? You're a little shit, you are. Bob it. Time up. Music, big bro! <laughs> <laughs> Nine fifty PM. Housemates are playing a Big Brother party game, where one housemate must draw a question from the box and pick a housemate that matches the statement. Who would you miss the most if they left the house? Aww. Aww. I hope it's me. Now. Oh, it's good. <laughs> That's a really good oh, one. Wow. That's a good, good That's one. A good first one. <laughs> Oh, it's been Jeremy been and Meg though, isn't it? Aww. Like, well, pretty close, but obviously I've had this little, this, this thing going on with Meg, so yeah. What it? Sorry, mate. Okay. Would be the best in bed. Oh! 
give it to yourself, Ange. Fuck up. Oh my um, God. You see, I gotta here? say, <laughs> boo delicious over there. <laughs> 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 she wanted to rail you. Yeah, she was and yeah. who called you? Yeah. Was that wrong? Was that no, bad? That was spot on. Well, Scott and Jeremy, I got it. it. <laughs> I, I didn't mean I to bring this card to the zoop somewhere. Least like to be locked in a room with. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Go on. Just be honest. Just uh -huh. do it. Just be honest. Your opinion. Oh, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> probably me because I'll pest her the life out of her. Obviously, things have been cleared up, but because of the other day, they now give it to you. Joy, you took it like a champ. <laughs> Thinks they are above the rest of the housemates. <laughs> Trust you to Scott, you take sweating. this out of the box. <laughs> oh, I, swear, I don't, I don't <laughs> think that well, at all. I can't give it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to. Uh, I guess I have to pass it over to the other alpha male in the house, and I guess that would be you, Gemma. <laughs> so, um, I accept it. Yeah, with yeah. Accept it in the. Uh, Thank uh, you. Yeah, I'll with the that grace that it was given. Thank you, yeah. darling. <laughs> Party Let's just play it funly, yeah. yeah. Let's yes. just have fun with it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Right. If you could evict anyone right now, who would it be? Oh my oh, gosh. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Christina, only because you're pregnant, honey. And that, that is honestly yeah, how the, I feel. I, That's, I'm the safe bed for you're everyone. You're pregnant and yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. home and relax. Like, I'm sick of this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's over I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Darren, I feel sorry for you. Go on, Dad. Oh, come on, we've come this far. Come on. Dad, just say it, boy. What does it read it out? Read it out for the boys. It just says least famous. Oh, right? okay. Now, I could start a whole new argument up, but I can only say this just because, because you live in the States, mm -hmm. I didn't know you. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective, just because we live in different countries, if I was in the mm -hmm. States, obviously I'd know exactly who you, who you are. I'm sure you had no idea who and I, I was. And I respect you, Mr. Darren Day, but let me tell you, at the highest rated of my shows, four million viewers. That's what I'm saying, but did you yeah. know who I was? No. Exactly. <laughs> and Darren, not to be like I'm tooting my horn, but I do have four successful reality shows I, that's coming out I'm this sure year, and I'm also executive producing well, I'm some. I'm sure you're doing it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really genuinely pleased so, for it. Are you going to watch them? I just want you to know that Big Brother didn't put you amongst no bullshit. Like, I'm pulling my way. She'll know yeah, I, I, really I just wanted to say that. Ten forty six PM. Christina is opening up to John. I think that's a very much sort of my Russian side. That you know, whatever, like whoever we are or how we were raised. You know, I can't be two-faced. I mean, of course, we all can be two-faced. Of course. Thing is, man, we're of working course. in the bloody... But I don't go out of my way, of my to, way to, to to lick someone's and if asshole, you're not And you if know? you're not bringing something to my door, yeah, 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 I might yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you're bringing something to my yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. So, that's that's the thing. I will I survive... I don't go out of my way to go behind your back. Doing yeah, this. yeah, yeah. And sometimes, perhaps, if I was the different way, I would have an easier life in general, you know, in the show business. Perhaps I could have been more, you know, flexible in my thoughts and so on, but I don't want to compromise what I believe in. Gemma has made an observation. That's not alcohol. That's Christina ginger ale. Johnny are the most boring people to ever buy. Do you think so? Yeah. I want to have it when she's with him. Oh, she's different. She's but the, he, took, he took her on as his pet. Jeremy is talking to Christopher and Scotty T about Stephanie. How old are you? 25. You're not going to marry a maid, fuck it. Attraction is not a choice, man. I'm sorry. Attraction is not What's a choice. Off? Attraction is not a choice. I can't tell. But reality <laughs> is a choice. <laughs> so you two, you two make me fucking joke up. Mm. I know I'm being a dick. But I can't help. I can't no, sit in a gap with a brain. The trouble is, the fucking trouble is, me. I'll tell you a face now. You fucking think you've been addicted. You're not. That's your fucking trouble. Yeah, but I'm worried about her. Why? Because she's gonna look like a mud. But, but then, but then, but then, aren't you as well? Yeah. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well then, that's well, then, why I worry about the crowd reaction. That's why I'm thinking about. Just stop these both looking like a mug. Just beat yourself. I know it's hard. <laughs> I can't. Like one of us will have to go. Something's gonna happen in the house, and it's gonna make her look. Can you kiss her? Yeah. Yeah, you go. Kiss her. Have you? I'll kiss her on the lips, like. When? The other night under the sheets, like. I knew you fucking did because that's what we were talking. It was literally. When, it, was when like, on, it was a peck on the lips, man. Like, yeah, it's a shame she goes in herself a bit with him. But see, let me tell you something. He know what he's doing. Of course he does. He know what he's doing. Of course he does. And that's what he got one in his corner. I don't have one in my corner. You got my back. I'm in your corner. I need you in my corner. Tiff, I told you yesterday, I'm there. Sometimes, Jimmy, I feel like you don't see me. He got her where he need her. But I would never make you feel under me. I see you as an equal. So you think that's different with their I, relationship? I see you. I would never. Oh, okay. You, you okay. Ain't, right. Oh, you ain't right. The sort of person, I could go. <laughs> right. Right. There, there. See, that's as if I could that's, tell you what to do. Right. That's what's going on with them, and that's the difference. That's what me and you. We're like that. He took her over the time She's a, that Nancy left. He sucked her up. And now, she looks miserable. Yeah, and she is. Like when she's with him, when she's with us, she's smiling, she's happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets mm -hmm. on my tits, that gazer. Well, because you see big him. Time. You see Johnny for what he is. He's like a big party pooper, mate. Eleven or three p.m. Jeremy is having an early night. I'm just saying, I'm going to bed, like. I can't sleep out with you. No, you can't. Put it in there, yeah? Put it in there. Can I wake you up if I come back in? Nah. What's wrong with you? Get away from me. Why are you standing out with me, like? Why are you standing there? Like, I'm sorry, I'm going to bed. Sam. Where's this, Megan? There's no need in that, Jess, like. Why are you being like that? I'm fine. You're not, you're being a ming. Thanks for being rude. Being rude. She's being a fucking arsehole to me. Daniela is sharing her first impressions of <laughs> Tiffany. I liked you when I first met you, I thought you were a little fireball. And then I was off. I never judge, I never judge. I, I never judge. No, I wasn't judge, you know. No, no, but no, I no. Like, no, 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 like no, 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 Mm. What what you who you are what you are you know what I mean what your purpose is and where you're coming from with kicking and then as I've got to know you and things different things have happened and and now I think that girl's got a heart now I think Thank she's you. no she's got always had a heart but no she's but got, you know what I mean Thank you. Thank she's you. found her feet within the, she couldn't didn't know her place I did she, not but do you rem do you and it's, uh, do you know what I'm so glad because. As I say, you did take yourself away and you were in bed and you didn't yeah. get involved. Trying and to figure it all out. Mm. I'm just finished, like, it is what it is and it's not me, like, I'm not, like, I'm not a dog, like, I'm sorry. I know you're not a dog. Yeah, but I'm it's being not... treated like a dog. By you? Just, would you please come inside because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get upset, like. Steph, I can't deal with it, like, it's too much and it's not your fault either, like. You get me? It's not your fault. I'm sad, I can't go to sleep, not me. Just drink your drink and get into bed with Megan, like. It's too much. Why are you doing it to me for? If you respected me, actually liked me, you'd walk out and just leave me. I know, me but be. I love you too much to leave you yeah, on your own. You have to. I'm fine on my own. I'll be better on my own. Yeah. You coming in here doing this isn't. It's too much for me. Like, like I can't deal with this. Like, I just can't. Like, I'm not this. I need to get out of the house. Like, I need. When it's out, I'll be fine. But in here, like, I need to be separated. So what are you saying? I'm just saying that's grand. I'll be your mate, but I'm not like the affection shit needs to stop. Like. We said that already. No, I'm like I am like I've come into bed tonight. I'm, I'm finished. Like it's too much. Stuff. Will you just go out? Like because I have to look out for myself as well. Like, you know, it's all I'm saying. Yeah. Why have you just come in bed? I don't get it. Right, so when you do this, I was singing your praises. This, when you do this, and then you go in and say oh, I'm in love and all. Like I can't deal with shit like that. It's just too much. It doesn't make sense in my head how a girl can deal that. What you want to deal about? I've I'm met just... you. And I know, I know that. I'm just trying to take myself away from it before it gets worse and you'll get more upset about something. I'm trying to be the bigger lad here, like, that's all I'm trying to do, but once it stops, it's not me. You're gonna have to go with it, like. You can't say, oh, I have these on the outside, I have that on the outside, and then you're playing me but, like no, a little fucking puppet. It's it is, babe. It's like you want your cake and you want to eat it. No, it's not. 
It is. It, it's exactly that, and I'm sorry, but you can't fuck with my head. I can't deal with all this. Little. And then you're like, oh, I have a boyfriend, I love him to be, I'm going to marry him. I'm like, Hannah! It's fuck, I can look like a dog. I'm not going to make you like a mug. I'll take it too. I'll take more. I'll get more. I don't care. But at least thing I want. What well, is you saying to me you while you're standing but... over me? That's it. Come on now. Coming up, Gemma and Stephanie go head to head. What you're doing is so wrong on so many levels. I can't wait for you to see yourself with your ear at what like what a horrible monster you are. You do Get not a fucking know who you are you. Not... You're off Howie. What's your talent? Nothing. <laughs> Twelve thirty one AM Gemma is telling Daniela about Stephanie's earlier conversation with Jeremy. She's been crying her eyes out. He's been saying, Look, you've got a boyfriend. She's and, trying- and it's killing me when you're saying you're gonna marry him and you love him and all of this. She's gonna she says she wakes up with a knot in her stomach every morning. But the thing is it ain't really fair to him either. It's not fair on him. No. Yeah, it definitely ain't fair on the other fella. No. Stephanie has got Jeremy out of bed to talk about their friendship. What do we do from here? I have never... It's, that's something it's like a love story because I've never been in this position before. But... Right, so we know we that. We have fucking good crack together. We have a good laugh together. We don't know what it's going to be like on the outside. But I don't want to lose you at all. No, I know, but what the fuck do you want us to do? What, what's going to change? Like, what, what's the big deal? What are we going to do? Jeremy and Stephanie are the topic of conversation in the bedroom. He knows. The fucking drill, the shower's a boyfriend. He's not going to come out looking good out of it. The thing is, Christine, we can't get involved. You know, that's why I haven't got involved. Yeah, but you're like a boy to boy. You take him aside. He's told him. But so it's more there because she's the one getting influenced. She's the one going over there. I see it now. I did not want to see it before because I believe in love and she was crying about the Sam and everything. Do you know what I mean? She was crying about that. She was crying about this. Fuck. People, people will be watching this and I'm saying I like you. Yeah. So what? What does that mean? Oh, you're gonna hate me because obviously I've got a boyfriend. But it's not like that. Right. Do you know what I mean? I get it. But you're people aren't saying things for a reason. They're saying it because. Of I'm glad that you've, you've opened up and you've been honest well, with it because what they've, said, what they've seen is what you, you've and been. And then people don't understand what we're living like. What do you think when you go to bed at night? What you... I've been worried. I can't remember what Sam sounds like. I'm trying to think of his voice. But that is because you're in here. No, but I can't think what it sounds like anymore. But that's because you're in here. You go out there and you'll hear that and they'll be like, all right. That doesn't matter. I'm in love with the idea of love. This is what I'm trying to say to you. You're not in love with me, like. (laughs) It's been ten days, like, steady, though. Right, calm down. You said you loved us too. Come on, like, like. I'm I'm being honest. This is hard for me. Come on. Well, all I know is when I look at you, when I look at you, like, I feel like that. There's potential there. A lot of potential, like when I look it's at it. Same potential, but well, that's not a lie, because I've, 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 I've risked everything tonight for you. Come on. or 7 a.m. Stephanie and Jeremy are in bed. Do you think it'll be okay? I think so. I need to 
Are you just letting off? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> don't be at that. Are you We're fucking... Don't even it. try and blag shit like that. Stop Have it. a little bit of decorum, please. Not Come decorum. On. We're speaking under the covers, having a little chat. I've been Guys, crying, can I just say, what you're, you're doing is public knowledge that you've already kissed under the covers. Are you actually joking? With no. Excuse me, Jen. It is so wrong no, what you're doing. Right. You've are got you a boyfriend. Even, are you actually you've got saying that I've boyfriend. kissed someone on the cover? You've you told are, people. You can watch Jeremy you told it. Scotty. Yeah. That I've kissed him? No, yeah. I've not kissed no, him. You have. You have. have not oh, what you're nice. doing is so wrong on so Come many on. levels. We Jeremy's not kiss. told Scotty. You're a fella. It is so... You've got a fella. You've got a boyfriend, babe. Listen to me, please. I'm listen. Serious. You've listen got to me. a fella set. From what I've heard, it listen, from what I've heard tonight, well, that you've kissed. She's got a boyfriend. Like, Jem, who the fuck are you trying to speak to me like that, Soz? Like, let go I'm trying to help you. You've go got to you. Oh, yeah. Why don't you have a little bit of balls? And when you're trying to chat about shit about people, stick to what you're thinking and not trying to do that to me. I think you're acting like an absolute disgrace. Snogging Jeremy, making him look a mug. I think you're acting like that. Making him look a mug. Why, why when you trying to make take him look a mug? Try and take back. Babe, say what you're going to say. What you're doing elder. is wrong. Don't you think you're a disgrace acting to an no, elder like that? No, because I'm not snogging a guy yeah, when I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, and you're not mugging someone off in the garden at fucking I'm 70 not, year old. You so. cannot snog a boyfriend right. boy yeah. when you've got a boyfriend. All right. Come Thing on, is, babe, you've got you the actual, cannot snog. I can't wait for you to see yourself and yell at your actual, like, what a horrible monster you are. You you're actually disgusting. Your attitude thinks you're a diva, and that's why no one's ever liked you, because you're a diva. You think you're boring, you yeah, yeah, give me a self. And sometimes it's better not taking part in that. Not wearing the jumper, not doing everything. You do yeah, not fucking knock. Who you are you? You're off Towie. Watch Shut your talent. Nothing. Nothing. You do not snog another boy. Range. And that's not done really well, has it? You do like, not face it, snog. Watch your talent. Steph. Come on, not babe. Oh. Steph, it's so oh. stepping up. Another boy under the cover. She's got a boyfriend. It's wrong. I think it's wrong. One fifteen a.m. Big Brother has called Stephanie to the diary room. Big bro, I'm good to go now. Please open the door. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to waste your time and speak to you. I'm not doing this anymore. Stephanie, take a seat for Big Brother. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, I don't even care about the money. I don't care about anything. Stephanie, talk Big Brother through what just happened. Jeb is a fucking cunt. I hate her. Who does she think she is? She's like a witch with a fucking pedal shit staring. Who likes that? She's a cunt. Making everyone unpack and pack a case. Who is she? I'm sorry. Fuck off. Who are you? Tabby Star. What are you actually known for? Why are you better than me? But I've took it too far, big brother. I've took it too far being close to Jez. And I'll never be able to forgive myself for as long as I'm in here. So please, just let me go because I'll never be able to forgive myself. You didn't deserve that because you wasn't even the one that bloody said it. But what I'm saying is, she has felt that about me. Yeah, you obviously. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, she's felt yeah, that about me. Yeah, but you know anyway, Jim. It ain't something you didn't know. We'd already had this And I can assure you, Mark. It makes me feel so awkward. You don't even have to justify your business, babe. It makes me feel awkward. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? It's child. It's. It's. Let's summon the child. You know what it is? It's like it's her defence of. Because she knows it's wrong. So she's trying to put it on someone else. But I'm just trying to do the trap there. No, I know, you're trying to help. Why do you keep kissing a boy? Do you know what she should do? Go, right, I've realised since meeting Jeremy that I've not got feelings for Sam. I've fallen in love with someone. I'm the biggest supporter of love and romance. I yeah, believe in it. Love I love that. it. Yeah. Woohoo. I'm yeah. so happy for anyone that falls in love. Yeah. But you don't kiss another boy when you've got a boyfriend because you know what that boy's getting hurt yeah. and we've all suffered we, at the hands no, of love well, of yeah. course i've been hurt I've, yeah, I've, I've, been 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 been. we've all suffered that we've all been it's just like so that. awkward now because it's gone to another level and why am i such a horrible person you're not a horrible she's person she's really a you're not a horrible yeah. person yeah. Fucking monster and everyone hates you yeah hate you, no one hates you i don't hate you yeah i don't hate you you love bitch Jim, so Jim, right now. You, you, you are loved. She don't give two tosses. No, she I know. Give, you have to worry about someone's yeah. own opinion. Mm. Do you know what I mean? She ain't got no opinion. If you said it to me, I'd be upset because I think a lot of you. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if I And I would, I mean yeah. that. Yeah. Or, or Daniela, or yeah. you know what I mean? I but say that. I'm just saying, she, must have she, it, she, she, she must showed her true colours at the top of that. She's obviously got, yeah, she's obviously got 
issues with you. She clearly Big finds time issues for her to come out with all that. that. Mm. Oh. Clearly finds you a threat. Of course. I reckon she's going to leave. Oh, oh that old No, 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 I mean, as in, uh, like, I don't think she's going to want to come back in. Oh, because in the morning she might oh, want to face me. Thank you. You've got your talentless people in there, like Gemma, who think they're celebrities, but they're nothing worse than shit on me shoe because just from a Taui reality TV programme, thinking that they can own you and make you do what you want to do, I'd rather shit on my own head than ever be like them and the way they are. Cause I think it's disgusting. But she's got the right to say I'm disgusting. If you let me back in that house, I'm gonna end up doing something I regret. Either if that's punching Gemma Collins in the face, which she deserves. How's she got a cheer? I never know. She's a fucking diva, big lion-headed cunt, who's an absolute knob. And people that do like it need to give their heads a wobble because she's disgusting. Four twenty-three a.m. Big Brother has moved Stephanie to a spare room for the night to give her time to calm down. I've done nothing wrong. She's a fucking diva. She needs to get a fucking grip of her life and stop being a diva. I'm not staying now. Let me out of this house. I'm not staying now. I'm not staying in a room when I was calm. If you'd let me stay in bed, I've opened up my heart to you tonight. You're fucking me over. I'm not doing it. Stephanie. I'm not doing it. Let me out. I am done now. Stephanie. That is it. I'm not jeopardising my life. I've risked my relationship for the show tonight. Oh, because I'm fucking... Oh, rah. I'm Stephanie. the fucking Lion King, Gemma Stephanie, Collins. Stephanie, you need to calm down. No! Yeah. Gemma Collins, Lion King. Stephanie. Keep her. Keep her for entertainment, but she's a bully. She's a thousand times taller than me. A thousand times taller, and she looks down on me like I'm an ant. Most of the housemates have been asleep for two hours and 21 minutes. And Gemma thinks she has seen a ghost. I've just seen something really fucking scary in the mirror. What was it? There's someone peeping through the curtain. Where? Oh my God, open that fucking door now. Open the door. Open, open the, the door. door. <laughs> nah, fuck this, I'm out of here. Get that fire exit door. Wait. I'm off. No, 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 wait a minute. Just no, tell, tell me where you're going. No, they're the other side of that door. What are you talking about? I'm just seeing with my yeah. own yeah. fucking yeah. eyes. Yeah. In Which, there. <laughs> In the you know, glass. You know, you know, In there. Fucking you know. looking at me. I don't like it. It's fucking shit scary in here, mate, tonight. It is. That's fucking <laughs> scary as fuck. What is that? I don't know. I can't see a thing. Look, look, look. Look, 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 look. Where? Where? Left hand corner, it. left hand corner. I saw it a minute ago anyway when I walked round. I saw you it. You can see the light going Yeah, I saw you? the light. Yeah. I'm telling you now, that was like a ghost. I don't like it. Thanks. I don't Listen, like it. I'm, I'm scared. scared. I feel proper. I'm scared. I don't like things like this. I'm not joking you. I can't sleep now. Good. I see it. I'm Good. fucked. I'm up. This week, Daniela, Sean, Christina and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. From a landline call 090 2044 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call 644 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Daniela, add 03. For John, add 08. For Christina, add 10. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Vote in closes in Tuesday's eviction show. If you're watching on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Expect gripping new season action with a mass breakout from the asylum in Gotham, Rise of the Villains, tomorrow at 10. If you're in the mood for a movie next on Channel 5, find your inner peace with Julia Roberts in the network premiere of Eat, Pray, Love.